Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to find rows in a first data frame that are not contained in a second data frame using the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the two data frames that we can create with lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio two new data frame objects appear which are called data1 and data2 and we can have a look at these data frames by clicking on the data objects. So if you click on the data object data1 you will see that the first data frame consists of five rows and two columns x1 and x2 and the second data frame also consists of the columns x1 and x2 and the rows of this second data frame partly have different values than the rows in the first data frame. So let's assume that we want to identify all rows in the first data frame that are not contained in the second data frame. Then we can use the deep layer package and in order to use the functions of the deep layer package we first need to install and load the deep layer package as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed the deep layer package already so I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code and after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the deep layer package such as the set diff function that I'm going to use in line 11 of the code. So if we want to use the set diff function it makes sense to specify the name of the deep layer package in front of the set diff function because there are different set diff functions contained in different packages and like this we make sure that we are using the set diff function of the deep layer package. However within the set diff function we need to specify the two data frames that we want to compare with each other and the set diff function searches the rows of the data frame that we specify first that are not contained in the data frame that we are specifying second. So in this case we are looking for rows that are contained in data 1 but not in data 2. So if you run line 11 of the code you will see at the bottom in the RStudio console that a new data frame object is appearing. And as you can see this data frame contains only the rows that are contained in data 1 but not in data 2. So in this video I have explained how to use the deep layer package to find rows in a first data frame that are not contained in a second data frame. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you give me a thumbs up or if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.